Uh, Park Chan-wook's third part of his revenge trilogy, which started for S- Sympathy for Mr Vengeance, then Old Boy, which, you remember, was the film in which Choi min Sik got to eat an octopus live, and there was a whole big fuss about whether or not that was against the Animals Act and questioned whether or not the octopus, the octopodi... That's when the whole octopodi thing started, and whether they have vertebrates. Our disputes of old. Exactly. Put them in a book. Now, this, which should have been called Sympathy for Lady Vengeance, I think the original title is... The, it's something like the kind Miss Vengeance. The story very much like the other movies in this trilogy. Uh, somebody has been imprisoned for a long time, comes out of prison. In this case, Lady Vengeance has been in prison for 13 years for committing a murder. She comes out, everyone believes that she has been saved by religion and that she's turned her life over to goodness, but in fact she comes out with a far darker purpose, which I think you can guess. Very, very visually stylish. I mean, Park chan does know how to construct beautiful visuals. One of the things that she says at one point when she's talking about her plan is she says, whatever it is, it must be beautiful. And she has this incredibly ornate gun that looks totally impractical and isn't going to work unless it's very, very close range, but it's very beautiful and very stylish. And she has this manner, which is a sort of... If you look, for example, at the the, 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 the acting styles in Memoirs of a Geisha, there is something of that in the manner of the Lady Vengeance character. I think, actually, that Lee Young-A is very good. I, I wasn't aware of her before, but apparently she's very, very well known um, in, uh, in Asian television circles. But she's very fun, a very low-key acting performance from which, I have to say, Gwyneth Paltrow could take charisma lessons. I mean, if you just look at it, you go, Gwyneth, look, there, that's somebody doing good acting. And you know what? I bet they can say chemistry in their own language. Um, Park Chan-wook says that what this is doing is putting a feminine slant on the vengeance theme, the nihilistic vengeance theme of the first two films. I don't know that that's entirely true. I mean, certainly there are some feminine trappings to the story. The central motif is a mother and child relationship, which to some extent will remind people of Kill Bill, although the difference, of course, is that Kill Bill was in its total form, was twice as long as Lady Vengeance. And this manages to do everything Kill Bill does, and then some more, in half the time. And it does it much more stylishly and much less ponderously. I don't think that it's necessarily up there with Save the Green Planet or Memories of Murder or Bittersweet Life, which are the other examples of the sort of the new... Asian cinema invasion coming out of South Korea, coming out of territories other than just King Kong, which I think are more inventive and in the end more substantial. The thing about Lady Vengeance is it's lovely while you're watching it. It's baffling. It's baroque. I mean, the plotting is completely convoluted to the point that about half an hour in you're going, where are we? We here? We she in prison? She out of prison? Is this a fantasy sequence? Is it actually happening? But you kind of don't mind because it has a musical structure to it. A mu- on a musical note, incidentally, the score keeps trying to turn into the theme from uh, the South Bank show, which is slightly troublesome because you do have... Have Bill Bragg imagine Bill so. Bragg to come out today to the South I said, Bank show. That's another impression. You've got you. The feel spit- you have did you ever see? Them. Did you ever see the South Bank show when Melvin Bragg did do the South Bank show on the Smiths, and he literally said today to the South Bank show, "Butter see and bar from the Smiths introduced their new album, Beat is Bird." I mean, it was it was three minutes the programme I couldn't stand up anyway are there any other impressions that you no need? that's it that's a relief so it's very stylish it's very visually lovely to look at it's violent and nasty and sadistic in, in a good way there are a couple of moments that I don't like about it in which I, I feel that perhaps there is there is a sort of sadistic edge to some of this cinema that occasionally you think Argh! It's very, very close to being tasteless in a way which bothers me but but they kind of redeem it. And it's intelligent and it's thoughtful and it's slightly full of itself, but I think this is now it. I think what we now need to see is Park Chan moving on, doing something else, but this is very fine for what it is, and certainly it's the movie of the week. But just to be clear, Hmm. violent and sadistic, but in a good way. But in a good way, yes. Hmm.